Welcome to Sovereign Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your sovereign problems. Today we are going to look at something on Google Ads and we are going to look at how you are going to save an image from Google Ads. Like for instance, you want to save the image of your community, your school, your place of work and uh, you know this is actually the group and then it comprises of um, so many maps. So you can actually extract the map of your area or whatever from this big map. So what do you do? The first thing is you launch this, um, you launch the software, and then you make sure that um, you are connected to the internet. That's very important. You make sure that you're connected to the internet. Then you come to this um, search bar, come to this search bar, and then you type in the area or the location of whose image you want to get. So let's say I want to get the image of the um, Federal School of Survey in Koyo. That's my alma mater. So I type Federal School of Survey in Koyo. There will actually be suggestions on the taskbar, so I can just pick any of them. Yeah, I'll go more show the pattern. So I now what I click on search. By the time I click on search, the big globe will now start to will start rotating and it will take me to where my location is. It will take me to what? Where my location is. So upon getting to that place, which is what we can see on our what on our screen there, this is actually Federal School of Surveying and then maybe its environment. So we now do what we zoom to our area of interest. Um, so I don't want to tell us what these places are, but I know this is my school and then I know this is a main road or your Gumosho road. Yeah, it's a very, very big and busy road. And then this is the entrance to my school and this stuff like that. So this is actually what the imagery we want to download. Now upon downloading this imagery, there are so many things we can do with them. But today we are only going to do what concern ourselves with how to save any portion of the imagery on our system so that we can now perform any other thing we want to do with them because this is just like an image a picture you take with your maybe your phone or thereabout it doesn't really have some um special coordinates that can make it work with um we that or maybe any person that wants to use it for any form of um, analysis or thereabout hence we are still going to do some things on it, but today we are going to only really consider how to save this word image. So if maybe your area of concentration is this place, you can just zoom to that point. So you make sure that your image load completely. That's why I said you need what? You need internet connection. So you make sure that the image loads completely. You zoom in, you zoom out to wherever you want to do what you want to download or maybe you want to save. And then you make sure that it loads completely before you do what? Before you save them. So as I said earlier, we are going to concern ourselves with this place and then how do we save it? You come to file. When you click on file, you click on what? Click on save. Now there are different options to save. However, today we are going to do what? We are going to save image alone. So the shortcut you can use is what? Control plus alternate plus what? S. But we are just going to use this now, which is save. With the next pop-up window will ask us the quality we want to save and the rest of that. So it depends on it, whatever you want to do. But for the purpose of this video, let's just save the screen. So we say what we say save. So the next thing it might ask us is what where are we trying to do what? Where are we trying to save it? We should just choose the word, we should choose the directory. So let's say we open this folder solution and then we just write it and um, image underscore fss your are we together you can see that it's even what in jpeg so it's just almost like any other image so we just say save by the time you save it you have actually saved it on your you see the image we have saved on the what on the computer so this is actually the image you know upon saving this you can decide to have your title you can decide to have your legend or any other stuff as the case may be however as i said earlier we are not going to concern ourselves with those ones today what we want to know is that okay you just connect your system to the internet you open google Earth, let's say you launch the software you type your location you search for it the big globe will locate wherever you search for you zoom in, you zoom out to the extent you want to save or maybe the area you need and then you just save the image. But upon saving the image, as I said earlier, there are so many things you can do with them. 
However, we are not going to discuss about those ones today. So yeah, thanks for coming to class today. I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two on how to do it, on how to save um, images from Google Earth. So I hope to see you again on the next video. If you are just coming to the channel for the first time, please subscribe to the channel, invite your friends, share the video, leave a comment and like. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Make sure you like, comment and share. So until I see you again next time, make sure you stay safe and then you keep becoming